Whenever you're ready, Finn. Yeah. Okay. I now call to order a special meeting of the Cal Cemetery Commission on July 2nd at 6.04 p.m. I assume Juanita, you will take some notes. Yes. For the record, present is myself, Michael Fullerton, Chair, Juanita Nunn, Vice Chair and Acting Secretary, Sherry Fitch, Member, and Debbie Stearns of Thompson, Vermont, who has come here to ask us a question. Are there any changes or additions to the agenda? No. Hearing none. Uh, we have one thing to be signed, and that is the new rate schedule. Which you can do that is be born and approved and so forth. And secondly, to approve the minutes of the last meeting, any changes or additions to that? If not, I'll take a motion to approve them. I make a motion to approve the minutes. Is there a second? A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, that was difficult. All right, Debbie Stearns has come here from Topson. The story, if you don't know it, but for the official record, her husband died some time ago. And my brother. Brother died some time ago, I'm sorry. My and husband his ashes, like that. <laughs> his ashes were scattered elsewhere, and some of the ashes were preserved and are in a small biodegradable container which she wants to put in a grave with her mother. Is that correct? Yes. And her question is, a urn burial, according to our rate schedule, costs $500. She wants only to have the small tube inserted into the ground. There will be no funeral, so forth. A Pringles can. Well, it's about the size of a Pringles can, the biodegradable tube that I am looking at. And this was as close as I could get. And, and it is biodegradable and eco-friendly. And uh, what I had wanted to do was just Basically, there will be no actual funeral. This is just going to be me, my husband, my sister, her husband, and his kids. And probably about five minutes there. And I don't mind paying something for it. Don't get me wrong there. But since we're not doing a full-on funeral, I kind of, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. um, so that's what I, I was just trying to figure out if there is some I guess acceptable or some way to make it so even not just me but other people that may only have our ashes that want to add it to a already existing grave within some kind of a you know I guess reasonable price I guess is what I'm looking for. Um, which cemetery is it? My mother is buried up in the Robinson Cemetery. I mean not that it matters I just yeah. yeah. And I had just wanted to put a small biodegradable, you know, thing in there. And when I, when I first talked to the gentleman, I was not too long after my brother had died, so I really did not pay attention to the stuff he was writing. I was just still trying to <clears throat> come to terms with that. And so when I reached out to him again and read the letter, and went, "Why?" And that's and I was trying to explain. I don't. We're not doing a full, I'm, the whole thing. <laughs> we just want a small hole on hers to, yeah. excuse me. Are you asking to do it yourself? No, I, well, we can dig the hole, but I just want permission and to pay because I know the money goes towards, but since we weren't doing a full on funeral, it's, you know, is there somewhere of a compromise so I can do this because we're, like I said, we're having a huge celebration of life and everything before the only ones coming up here are the basic immediate family. And so we, I was looking to see if there's some kind of compromise on the price. Any thoughts? So, it's still a question. Um, so would, would Joe or Sexton be involved? Well, if, uh, 
I guess, I mean, there should, probably should be somebody like him there to make sure we're not doing anything we shouldn't be doing or digging where we shouldn't be, because I'm not, I know where my mother's grave is. I just don't know, you know. So involved, yes, but no big machinery, no bringing out anything like that. We can dig our own hole just for validations to make sure we don't cross the line we're not supposed to, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, uh, we've never, not that I recall, done anything like this before. We've always had the sexton involved. Right. Uh, I suppose if Joe was willing to come over and say, do it here, would he dig the hole? Would you bring a post hole digger and dig the hole yourself? I don't know that that is even legal. I mean, he's got to be involved somehow. Um, I don't know. If it's, 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 my thing is, um, you know, if we start doing something like this, is this going to be, is other people? Yeah, if we make one exception, then what happens down the road if people moan? It's like, well, yeah, you know, not only that, we have to get the sex thing come over and we have to right. get, that comes out of our <coughs> budget. Um, boy. If he is involved, we would have to pay him. Right. Well, I'm not saying I don't want to pay. Right. It's just the 500 just kind of threw me right out on the ball field. Yeah. Because I'm not doing a full on, you're not digging a six foot hole or whatever size hole just something big enough to put this guy in. Yeah. And, it, and it is biodegradable, you know? So I was just trying to figure out if there's some kind of a compromise in there or if there's a way to. Yeah. yeah, so making an exception, if we make an exception, any exception we make would be on a case-by-case -case basis. Right. How often is this gonna happen? Is it reasonable to make some kind of an accommodation? I mean, I think it, it is reasonable, but I, that's my only, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, we, we have to pay the sexton. Right, we have to pay the sexton, and will he take a lesser amount? If he's just been, if he's there, spends less time there. Exactly. Um, that's. He doesn't have Part to deal with a funeral director. He doesn't have to have a right. crew there. He just has to go it. there and say, yep, this is the right place. And, they, they maybe dig, and maybe dig the hole himself. Yeah, yeah, he might want to do that. Dig up the sod so he can put yeah. it back in place. That I understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough one. You it is a tough one. one. Yeah. I'm sorry, but yeah. you know. No, um, I, yeah. I understand. Yeah. Um, I would be amenable to talking to Joe and say, here's what we are considering. Would Considering you don't have to do all of what you normally have to do, would you be willing to go there, mark where a hole could be dug, and dig it? And we would pay you, you would get paid. You pay us, we pay him. Some reasonable amount to do that. On a one-time one basis, and if anybody else should ask us something like this again, we would discuss that one thing. At that time. Yeah. Take it one at a time. Yeah. What are you what are your thoughts on reasonable? I was thinking, you know, since he's got to be there, whatever, you know, between two uh, two two fifty three. You know, or just say half our normal. Okay, half. Because, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As as long as we acknowledge that in the future, if someone comes to us, we'll do it on a case-by-case -case basis and we'll have to look at the yeah. details like we did this time. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, and, and since you were kind enough to come here and speak to us in person, they will have to in the future too. <laughs> <laughs> and you had a ways to come. Well, yeah, I wanted to be able to be here to present my case in person, mm -hmm. you know, because this is important and 
I don't believe in sneaking on properties and doing things you're not supposed to do. <laughs> and, and we appreciate Yes, it. very much. Uh, Put you in a definite minority in this country. <laughs> yeah, right. I've been, been told that quite a bit over the years. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those, I'm not a straight lace, but I don't vary too far, but doing something like this just makes my skin crawl. If I did it, I would be, I would come and tell you okay today. So, well, but the bigger thing is, is I did want permission. And the other yes. thing I need to know from, I believe, your sector is if he's going to need the death certificate as well and the certificate of cremation, because he's being brought up from Florida, or is what remains of him is being brought up, and I didn't know if you would also need those to come with it when we do it. I don't think so, but we'd have to check with you. Okay, that is sure. That way I can know if I get approval for this, I make sure I have the paperwork that we need to have. Okay. So our proposal is <clears throat> that we charge $250 for this. We will pay the sexton, and if he agrees, then he can come and either dig the hole or show you where to dig the hole, whatever he feels is proper. Okay, I'm a, I, 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 that's all I was really kind of hoping for is just yep. somewhere we met halfway on, you know, I, if we were doing a full blown funeral, I would have never, of course, if I was looking at it when I was first talked to him completely, I wouldn't have waited to the last minute, but it's one of those things that I was just kind of trying to shove to the back of my mind. Um, so when do you need this? Does July 20th is a tentative date barring everybody getting up here. Okay. That's when they're supposed to be up. That's what we were aiming for. Uh, probably like 4 o'clock <coughs> in the afternoon because we're having his thing prior to. That's why nobody is coming up except for, you know, us immediate. And it's basically long enough to just bury him, say, until we see you. Um, yeah and just leave. Uh, we Okay, either of you want to move that we do that? I make a motion that we do that. I move that we do that. <laughs> I second, yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So resolved. So Joe's gonna get in touch with her? I will get in touch with Joe and then have Joe get in touch with Debbie. Okay. Well, Joe has my email address. Yeah. Okay. I do. <laughs> okay. Good. Sweet. Any other business that can legally become before this body at this time? Um, there's something for a future meeting that just occurred to me um, as we were talking. Um, will we allow pets, if they're cremated, to be buried yeah. with their that's homes? Nice. That's, that's a good subject because of my mother's friend was going to do that on my mom's grave and I told her she was not allowed many years ago. If it's cremation, I don't see why. We're I, I think we should. Why as long as cremation and... Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, the reason right. I'm bringing it up is my brother-in-law, um, after he died, his dog died and my sister did that, but that was in New Hampshire. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> Those people in New Hampshire. Careful now, I was born in New Hampshire. Uh, All right. 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 Good, we'll put that on the next meeting agenda. Uh -huh. Anything else? No, I think we're good. Our next regular meeting will be July 24th, Wednesday, 6 o'clock here. July. And I will entertain a motion to adjourn. I make a motion we adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. It's over.